and welcome to everybody's favourite segment, the mailbag. Okay, that was a terrible impression and I apologise for that and will never ever do it again. Anyway, I got a generous donation from a fellow YouTuber, an old friend from school, so uh, let's just dive right in and see what we got here. There's quite a lot of stuff. Okay, I thought we'd start with the smallest package and I hope you can hear me because it is incredibly hot in this room today. That's why I got the fan on full blast or full blast if you want to be English about it. So let's start with the smallest package. It says one terabyte HD. I think I know what that means. We have a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. That's going to be really handy because Again, I am already running out of hard drive space. I've only got 4.5 megabytes, I mean 4.5 gigabytes left on my main drive. The other partition on there is pretty full up as well. And the other hard drive I've got in there, yeah, that's getting, that's getting pretty full too. Anyway, this is a lot more storage space than all of that combined, so yeah. Guess who's getting a hard drive upgrade? Well, okay, let's see what's in these two oblong boxes. I've got no idea what's in here. It says... A wireless 11G access point, but I'm not sure if that is what's in there or not, because I don't know if it's what's in there. Let's have a look, let's see what we got. We got a power supply by the looks of things. I don't know what this is. Is it a power supply? Some kind of power supply, yeah. Well, let's see what's in here. What's this? What's this? Okay, it's definitely an access point. Don't know if I'll find a use for this, but I've got one. Is that all? I think there's something else in there as well, actually. Um, oh yeah, just documentation and stuff. Yeah. So let's see what's in the other box. Oh. We've got the same thing. Power supply, only slightly different. I hope I'm showing this on the camera, I'm not, am I? There we go. I know, this one's trying to make a bid for freedom. Is that the same as the the one? I think it is. Let me just take it out of the wrap in here. I think... Oh, actually, no, no, not. This one's an access point and the other one's a firewall router. I don't know if my own router has a firewall built in it or not. I think it does. But anyway. Always better to be safe than sorry. So I'll just put all that stuff over there for now, and let's see what's in this bag. There seems to be a couple of things in this bag, so let's have a see what we got in here. I've, I'm just going to cut it open. Oh, what the hell. Just flip it open. There we go. You know... I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of these. <clears throat> um, got a range extender here that might be actually, actually I might be able to make use of that because the wireless in this house is absolutely 
almost no range at all, even though I've got one of those, oh, what's it called, Virgin Media Super Hubs. So let's see what's in this bag here, in this little box here. But I don't know, it's got some kind of packaging. Be nice to see what we got in here. As if I can get it open. <clears throat> see. Wow, another router. <clears throat> I just realized I've covered the microphone with my bag. Okay, well, I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, we got some more interesting stuff in here. A CD writer. I don't know I barely use CDs anymore. This will still come in handy when I need to burn CDs. And I don't have a DVD writer on me, I guess. Put that back in, and we'll get on with the main stuff. And I'm just going to pause the camera. Alright, it's time to be like LGR and open some games. And I also got a generous donation of old games. So let's see what we've got here. Hidden and Dangerous. The year is 1941. Your four-man squad has been shot down deep inside enemy territory. Stranded from home, you'll need all reserves of cunning and concentration if you're going to command your team through... <sighs> Axis Invested, you, uh, whatever. I'm not going to bother reading all that. Looks pretty interesting, though. Next we got Birds of Prey. Combat Flight Simulator, by the looks of things. Graphics look rather... Old, so I don't know what time this was from. Oh, floppy disks. Does anybody remember those? I if there's a date on here anywhere. Does it say? Oh, there we go. I'll have to fish out my old. I have to fish out my old floppy drive and give that a go sometime. Actually, does anybody remember when PC games came in these nice big boxes like this? Why don't they still do that? Take your best shot! Twisted arcade games for Twisted Minds. I have absolutely no idea what this is all about. Screenshots look rather interesting. Don't know if this is on DVD or I guess it's Windows CD ROM. Uh, let's see what we got here. The Universe. Virtual Lab Virtual Reality Laboratory. I hope I'm showing this on the camera good. might be worth a look. If you want to see me play any of these, then just leave a comment and I will 
let's certainly get on and do so. We got Savage Arena. Five percent discount offer from any full retail product. I'm mm, sure that's long since expired. Seems to be some kind of mech war game, I think, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. Oh wow, look at this. Visual basic. I've always wanted to have a go at this. Now if I didn't get my keep my thumb over the thing. Who knows? I might actually be able to make something good with it. Micropros Formula One Grand Prix. 286, 386, 486, might be it. Most PC compatibles. Wow. Wow, look at this. Look at these state of the art graphics. It's just like real life, doesn't it? I don't think this will be on a CD somehow. I think this will probably be on floppy. Judging by its age. Um, let's see if we can get this out and have a look. I don't even know how this thing opens up. Oh well. Ah, what's this? The Q range CIV. We got worms and Sid Meier's civilization. I've got worms. Oh, that just sounds completely wrong. I've got worms. I remember I put my own sound effects on that game one time. How we done for time? Oh, been recording for five. Been recording these boxes for five minutes already. What we? What is this? F15 Strike Eagle and um, Strike Eagle. Ah, let's see what the specifications of this are. Oh, you pardon me. Three eight six four eight six. And most compatibles with CD-ROM. I doubt that these screenshots, this one at the top and this one at the bottom, I mean this one at the top here and this one at the bottom are actually in-game screenshots. I'm sure those are just cutscenes. So realistic, we'll be gasping for air! Okay then. A lot of these combat flight simulation games And they actually look pretty good. I'd much, much rather play these than a first person shooter any day, I tell you that. Ah, what we got here? What does it say? Oh, yeah, the one we've got two. Right. Seriously, though, these do look interesting. The price of this one was when it's originally sold 34 dollars and I got this for absolutely nothing. I think that's a pretty good bargain, don't you? There's screenshots. I think that one looks pretty good actually. I don't know why. Uh, maybe that's from a different system or something, or maybe it was from, taken from a better computer or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Virtual Snooker. I loves me a bit of snooker. What if this does pool as well? <coughs> this one is so big, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in the camera. Concord Supersonic Transport for Microsoft Flight Simulator 98. I don't know if that requires Microsoft Flight Simulator 98 or not, but I'm sure we'll find out later on. I 
I have no idea what this one is about. Amazon, explore the unknown in the ultimate land of adventure and discovery. Hmm. Would help for us holding it the right way up, wouldn't it? I don't know what this is all about, but... That might be worth checking out. Apache Havoc, another combat race and um, flight simulator thingy. So I've got plenty to keep me entertained for a while. And there's still a couple more. This one is really heavy. What is, what's actually in this one? Because uh, this one's pretty heavy for a size. I don't know what we got in here. All right, we've got several discs. Oh my God! Look at the side of this. Look at the size of this manual. I'll never be able to memorize all that. Anyway, last four now. We got Battle Hawks 1942 by Kix. How have you pronounced that? No idea if this is Windows or DOS, it doesn't actually say. Uh, let's have a look inside, let's see what we've got. Yeah. 19. Ah, there's a date right there, 1992. Anyway, last three Monster Trap. Monster Track Madness 2! I used to have this on my old Pentium 2, 3, I used to have this on my old Pentium 2 back in the day. I remember I downloaded this recently. At least I won't have anything to feel guilty about now because now I've got the actual game itself. As you can see here. And I know I can get this one working on Windows 7 because I've done it before. Even installed a glide wrapper so I could have the graphics looking exactly how they are supposed to be. We got Printmaster Publishing Suite 7.0. Don't know if I'll be able to do anything with this. Right, give it a go. Uh, and last but not least, Desktop Pythonizer. Pythonize your desktop. I might have said that somewhere. Quite a bit of a Monty Python fan, actually. So, anyway, that's just about everything. So, anyway, I gotta put all this back. Anyway, I'm just gonna put all this back in the box for now and edit this and upload it to YouTube. Oh, by the way, this is not all, there's more stuff coming from another YouTuber. He's going to send me some electronic stuff. So there's another video to look out for and... Oh yeah, and there's going to be the hard drive upgrade of this computer. So anyway, uh, I'll see you next time. 
And until next time, goodbye.